All right, RC guys, it's your boy Howard with Michael seventy three on YouTube, coming back at y'all, showing you one of my uh, new bodies I just painted. This is a a one tenth scale uh, chassis I had that a guy gave me at work. It was a nitro uh, motor in it, but I'm gonna convert it over into an electric motor because the motor that was in it was uh, seized up. So. I didn't want to mess with it or put a new mold in it, so and it's a belt, belt driven chest and I liked it. So I decided, decided to order this uh, uh, one tenth scale, uh, what you call it, NASCAR body. And I painted it up. I'm not finished, I just want y'all to see what it looks like uh, now that I just finished the paint job and stuff up on it uh, a couple hours ago. Uh, I'm going to do a quick walk around and y'all check it out and tell me what you think about it. Uh, then. Uh, Pull the chassis off and show you what it looked like underneath the chassis. As you can see uh, on the back wheels back there, uh, right here, they don't have any tires on them because I just got those rims. And those rims are uh, 9 millimeter offset. they deep, deep dish rims. So, and the ones on the front is 6 millimeter offset. So, we're going to do a quick walk around and I'm going to show you the rims and then pull the top off and let you see it. and and this is the beginning phase of it and then I'll let y'all see the uh, the finished phase of it. I think I'm going to put a uh, 380 size motor in it. I got I got an extra one of those. Uh, it's going to be kind of tight to put a five, I mean a 450 motor in it so I'm going to put a 380 in it. Let's walk around and let y'all take a look at it and see. Man the paint job came out flawless on this thing. It is off the chain. Look at there. So I like the way it looks. I'm going to cut those uh, body posts down, but they just on there right now, so I can put the body on. So, do a quick walk around. Let's do a close up on the rims, on the back rims. And I can show y'all the deep dish on them if you can see them. See, can you see the deep dish on them right there? Uh, how those rims look. Oh man, it's going to be sick. It's going to be ridiculous. As you can see, the paint job came out real nice on this. I think it did, if not. So let's do a quick walk over the top and check it out and let y'all see over the top and then we're going to walk on around here and check it out and uh, and tomorrow I'll try to put the motor in. I'm going to make a make my own personal motor mount for it and and get the motor mount in it and see how it, how is it all going to come together. I'm going to put a 60 amp ESC in it. I'm going to set it up to run off of two cell three cell in it uh, battery in it so let's walk on around and see how this thing look here this thing is sick I know I'm shaking a little bit using my phone I wish I had to charge my my uh, GoPro up but I didn't so we're gonna just walk on around and check it out okay alright let's take the top off of it and uh show you what it looked like uh, underneath it and everything. Let's see here. And show you what I'm working with underneath here. Okay. Here we go. I see that body right there. That's uh, uh, HPI, as y'all guys can see, HPI chassis. Uh, belt driven chassis. I like this chassis. A dude uh, at work gave it to me. Um, so it had, as you can see right here, it had a, uh, a gas power, let's slide around, had a gas power motor right there. I took it out, chassis was kind of clean, I like the chassis with this purple in it. I'm going to put some uh, adjustable shocks on it and everything, and uh, once I get it all together and see how it's going to work, but these are the rims I was telling y'all about, but uh, I'm going to try to put a 380 motor, I think I can put a 380 motor in here. And I'm gonna run mod one gears on it, so I've been taking it apart and little by little and working on it. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna put a 380 motor in here, and I think I can get it to work with a 15 turn. I mean a 15 uh, tooth pinion gear in it, and I think it'll work okay. But anyway, I just wanted to show y'all what I'm working with, working on now. Just look underneath it, and the body's it's been it's got a couple scratches because guy had been running it, but it's kind of real light it's not really all that heavy so 
I think it's going. I think a 380 size motor fit in here and make this thing run pretty good. One of those 380 that's set up for a one tenth scale. Anyway, let's put the body back on it and uh, and we'll go from there. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys what uh what I'm working with here. One of my new projects a fella gave me and, and I decided I'm gonna do something with the with this chassis. I didn't want to you know put another gas engine in it so I decided to do it that way you know and put an electric motor in it but uh anyway I'm gonna be shutting it down right there yeah, I'll check it out and tell me what you think about this thing and think will I be able to do anything with it anyway this your boy Howard Michael 73 on YouTube coming back at you oh yeah let me get a shout out to uh, my homie that gave me a shout out a while back uh, Rock, Rock Bud I think it's Rockbud43. Appreciate the shout out, man. So I'm gonna shoot you back and um, give you a shout out. Been checking y'all, y'all check him out. I've been checking a couple of his cars out. This dude got some bad whips. Y'all check him out and uh, and holler at him and you know, look check him out on YouTube and uh, give him thumbs up and uh, you know and check out some of his videos. He got some dope cars on there. But anyway, I'm gonna shut it down right here. This your boy Howard Michael 73 on YouTube. Coming back at y'all, showing y'all one of my new cars I'm working on right now. Y'all check it out and tell me what you think. I'll holler.